This is the top of a four foot tall column. At the very top there's a hook, two hooks. And hanging from that is a 10 pound monofilament line. It goes from the top where it's suspended to the bottom where there is a small swing attached to it. On one side of the swing there is a lead weight, 49 grams. There is a mirror on each end of the swing. On the end that we're interested in, there's a laser light, which is the red laser. And that laser beam reflects off the mirror. And when it reflects off the mirror, it's going to go to another mirror, which is up on a wall over here. It's distance about 15 feet. From this mirror, the beam goes to the mirror to the right. From there, it travels across the room. And there's a mirror up there on the boxes, the top box. From there, it comes back again and goes to the second mirror that's on top of the filing cabinets. From there the beam travels across the room to the mirror on the vise. And from there it's going to travel to this white sheet of paper against the wall. Total distance is about 70 feet. And what we're going to see is that it is possible to form and collapse a gravitational field. The object that does that is this. This is a stainless steel pot, quarter inch wall thickness, three eighths inch top and bottom. This is a magnet and, and, and you can see that there is no attractive ability there. We go down though and put the magnet on this jack, you can see that it sticks. It's a 20 ton jack. What it's going to do, it's going to force this. It's a stainless steel rod up into the pot with a lot of pressure. And that pressure is going to equate into gravitational waves. And these waves will move this small swing with a weight on one end right here inside this polycarbonate tube. It'll cause it to move just a little bit. Basically, what has been made is a gravimeter. It's going to sense gravitational waves. These waves are, are very weak and they're difficult to sense. So it has to be rather sensitive. When this starts and I first initiate pressure on this pot filled with lead, the beam may vibrate up and down just because it's so sensitive. The floor here is made of concrete, but even though it's made of concrete, vibrations from traffic passing can still cause a beam to vibrate. So we're going to get started, and the next thing we'll see is the laser. It's going to be a red laser light that will be focused on this white paper and the camera I'm holding now will be sitting on top of that white box focused on what is being done. <laughs> 